Namaskar. In this video, we will learn how to calculate C1 and C2, two components of PSQI. And rest we will find in another videos. So moving to C1. There are some instructions which is showing right side of the screen. For Calculating component C1, we have to examine question number six and then assign score 0, 1, 2, 3 as per the response. So let's move to data. We are copying question number six response to question number six in a different sheet here. And then Let's simplify it six, do some proper alignment. And now we have to do the scoring for the C1. We can write C1 here. So we have to apply filter here, applying filter for the scoring. Let's select fairly bad first. So for fairly bad, we have to score two. So I am writing two in C1. Now let's select fairly good. The fairly good score is one. Assign one in C1. Now very good. The score is zero. Now, while removing filter, we can see we have got the response and score of component C1. Let's highlight this. So we have found the C1 score, component one score. Now moving to component two. To calculate component two, we have to examine question number two first, then examine question number five. We have to score as per the instructions, then add second and five score, and then assign component two score. So there are four steps. Let's do one by one. Moving to question number two first. Since in the last video, we have standardized our data. So it's become easy now. Copy question number two, control C. And now copy in this new sheet. Let's try two. And now we have to assign score. SCR of two. Again, applying filter here. If the response is less than 15 minutes or equals to 15 minutes, the score is zero. Let's take five, 10 and 15 first and assign score zero and copy to other cells. If the score is in between 16 to 30, then the score is one. Let's 
four is one. And now the score is in between, sorry, the response is in between 31 to 60. And the score is two. We have only one response. And then more than 60 minutes, just assign score three. Now remove this filter. And we have got the score of two. Now copy five a response moving to our row data. Copy five a response in sheet three. Now we have to score five A. If the response is not during the past month, score is zero, and so on. So applying again filter here. And then not during the past month. The score is zero. Less than once a week. The score is one. Now once or twice a week. Score is two. And the last one is three or more times a week. The score is three. Now removing the filter. Now in the third step, we have to sum or add score of two and score of five three. So we can say sum and we have to add D column and F column. So we have to apply formula equals to select D2 plus F2 and then equals and then copy this formula to all other cells to get the sum. And now we have to Calculate C2 component two score. As per the sum. So if the sum is zero, we have to assign zero. Again, applying the formula because the data is less in this video in this Excel, but you will have a greater data, large data. So you have to apply filter. It's sum is zero. And the component two score is also zero. If sum is one and two, one to two, the response is one, score is one. The score is three and four. Component two score should be two. Score is five to six. Component two score should be three. And then removing the filter. So this is how you will get component two. So you can see we have find C1 and C2 for the PSQI scoring. In the next video, we will find other components. Thank you.